down, 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 down. Ish there. Okay, cool. All right, so far we have zero people watching us. So let's just drink our drinks and wait till we have a friend. Somebody will hop on here and say hello. Do we have enough light? I think we do. Cheers. Here's for Cheers to the big reveal. I feel like Christmas in January and I'm loving it. Yeah, good thing we're going to um, shower and wash our hands and everything after we go through this nastiness. Because when you go through the bins, it's basically like going through garbage. No, it's not that bad. It's good smelling garbage. What's, why is this on the table? Isn't that for Terry Anna? This is on the table because it was one of the treasures that we found. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. A little, a little, you know, but, you know. But the way, how we describe it out when you list it on eBay is the box it's has nice damage. Box. The box has damage, as you can see from the photos, but the contents inside are still brand new. That's what I put in my listings. That's why refrigerator clicking drives me crazy every single day of my life. So look it up. Hey, I got one person watching us, honey. I hope they say hi so we know who it is. This is my partner. Oh, we got two people now, babe. Say say who you are. I'm Heather. And you're stuck with me. Cameron's better half. That's for sure. Whoop, whoop. So what we're doing, y'all, is we went to the bins this afternoon and uh we got a lot of goodies, and we wanted to share them with folks. So I suppose the first thing we could start off with, I almost left this behind. This is Jesse's hat from Toy Story. Heather does have a costume, uh, but did yours have a hat? Mine came with a hat, but a hat might fit better. Who knows? Yeah, or if we not, can somebody is missing a hat. We'll get so one. where once I go through stuff, and where do I put it down? Because now I feel like this is in a way I've already talked about it. You just gonna wear it for the rest of the video? Uh, Howdy, partners. Welcome to the show. Wow, wow. And we just started drinking, so <laughs> that's just her high on life about excitement of the toys. Okay. How about I grab? So I'm going to start with this. This is uh, a couple of Stargate toys that Heather found from the bins. Hashbro. Hashbro 1994. Did you say Hashbro? Ha Hasbro. 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 Wow. Hasbro, bro. Hello, Gloria's joining us. All right, so this one, and then, uh, so that that is R.A., the ruler of Abydos. I'm probably totally saying that wrong, and this looks like Daniel. And I have no idea the resale value of these Stargate toys from 94, but from the bins, less than a dollar. Easily less than a dollar. Yep, probably 10 bucks each. Uh, we got a handful of... of uh, Pokemon toys or toys cards. Look, honey, this is a Pikachu. I know nothing. Of I, I don't know anything thing. about Pokemon cards either, but uh, it's probably not valuable. Pikachu is pretty common. This is this says 2016 on the card and a basic Pikachu. Y'all have to let me know if that has any resale value. For all I know, babe, this could be like a $200 Pokemon card. That and it was awesome. and it was just chilling in the bins. So anyways, just a handful of those cards. Uh, Princess Ariel doll. Unfortunately, her tag got cut off, but I'm but I do know because I have had these exact same dolls only bigger before. Um, it's from Disney store, but it is hard to say like Disney authentic when it doesn't have the tag. And so I almost didn't pick it up, but then I reminded myself it's the Benz, bro. Ariel. Ariel, that's what I said. I know it's Ariel. Yeah, I mean... one more night. And this is Sonic's buddy. What's Sonic's buddy's name? Anybody in the chat remember the name of Sonic's, I want to say like Tailspin or Tails, but man, Sega Genesis, I played that game all the time and they would do, they would just, anyway. Uh, I don't know enough about Pokemon cards, but there are others who know. Well, Gloria, hopefully those who know will join us and they can tell me a little bit more about the Pokemon card. But um, Tails needs to get washed, on. Huh? I don't even know if his name is actually Tails, but it's a little dirty right there, so let's throw him in the washer. All right. We're going to make a pile of all the stuff that we definitely need to, to wash. Hello. I see other people have joined us. Say hello in the chat. Heather found this. I'll give her the credit. Uh, is there a year on it? I don't know. I mean. But it's Kermit and a jack-o'-lantern. You're going to want to keep this, aren't you? I'm going to want to keep this. 
She's going to want to keep half this stuff, y'all. And if we keep it, then how am I a reseller? That's just going to turn us into hoarders. Well, when we break even, is a good day. <laughs> this is a Hatchimals. Hatch animals? Hatchimals. Spin Master. Made in China. I don't know what year, but uh, I think this Hatchimals might be worth, I don't know, 15 bucks, maybe. Sal, my buddy Sal from Albany, what's up? Off to Salem for soccer. Oh, cool. He's coaching North Salem High School. All right. You know what Clay thinks about North Salem High School? Oh, yes. Go Viking. Woo woo. That's where she went to high school. My alma mater, North Salem High. Don't know if this is going to work, but it was in the bins. And this is a Wii sensor. And so it's not super valuable, but considering it's less than a dollar, I figured it was worth picking up. Now, we live in Oregon, and Sal uh, lives south of us. So he's talking North Salem. He's referring to uh, in Salem, Oregon. Can Clip Cloppy go lay in her bed? Because that's going to get annoying. Our dog, she's pacing around. Okay, Heather found this as well. This is a Minnie Mouse. How does she work? Oh, there we go. It's so cute, and it works. Uh, Sal says, let's go, class of 2009. Um, close to that. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, okay, so this is a kid's costume. Honey, I don't know if you saw this, but I found it today. You did? Yeah, a toddler, 2T. 4T, 5T, 6T. That's not very descriptive. That could be right, oh, here. right here, right here. 2T to 4T. So a uh, roaring triceratops. Brand new. I guarantee this is 20 bucks, 30 bucks. Costumes are expensive, yes. y'all. It's a while. It might sit on the shelf for a while. The shelf out in my shed uh, with inventory. Uh, that'll be a good, a good flip. There's a North Salem uh, 25 miles. From where Gloria lives in New York. Nice. Yeah. Is this? I think I grabbed this, and I don't really know what it is. It's from Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Okay. I'm guessing. I'm like, it could be. This 2003. Guy. So this is 17, 18 years old. It's gonna be vintage soon. This little Peppa Pig. If anything, I like to grab like hands full of small toys, knowing that like if I found three other Peppa Pig type of toys, I could eventually lock them up. You know what I'm saying? And you will see a lot of little toys that we're going to be pulling out here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ariel and uh, Prince Eric in the boat. I think this is some type of a uh, Christmas ornament. Christmas ornament. Yeah. And it actually plays Kiss the Girl the song. So cute. And definitely keeping it. What? I could resell this for good money, dude. I know you could, but... You're gonna kiss the girl. Okay, that's gonna play for a little while in the background. So cute. I, I don't want to open this, because there's a lot of little pieces in it. I want you to open it, because there's a lot of little oh, okay. pieces in it. Okay. Um, it doesn't have a year that I see, but this is Playmobil, which I think is maybe worth some money. Playmobil. Playmobil. Oh, it's like a pirate. Well, this looks like a Lego pirate. This is Han Solo. It is? No, oh, wait. What's this is a Stargate guy. Oh, it's a guy that goes to this. But look, there's a treasure map and a pirate. He's the. It does look like Han Solo. Well, it looks like the new Han Solo, but. 2017. So anyways, I'm going to have to do some research. I know, I'm sorry, y'all can't see these toys that I'm bent over looking at, but... That definitely looks like the new Han Solo from the new Han Solo movie. This was in this Playmobil thing, but we don't know that it goes to it because it looks like Han Solo. This is looks like a Lego pirate to me based on its little hands. Yeah, that probably is what goes with it. Um, with but then there's like a keg or a wine barrel and all uh, uh, pirate-related things like a parrot. So it might not be, it probably isn't a complete set of whatever this is. It looks like there's roof parts right here. I don't know, y'all. But uh, I figured I'll just take pictures, say what's shown is what's for sale. And considering it was like a buck, well, less than a buck. That was loud. Sorry if that was loud and noisy. 
Next up, super cute troll. Victoria's in the house, honey. Say hi to Victoria. Hi, Victoria. This is my wife, Heather. We are being big kids and going through oh, yeah. the toys that we just found at the bins because we're really excited because we found a bunch of really cool things. This is from Trolls, so it's recent-ish, 2016. We're going to resell her, right? Yeah, I can part with her. She's super cute, though. What else you got? Well, I got a um, Harry Potter tie. Okay. For those of you who like to do Comic-Con, dress up, just love Harry Potter. Can't have enough of that. Victoria says hi. Lady Ants. Oh, wait. Here's a little baby troll. <laughs> I found an old vintage troll in there with like a bridal dress or something. Oh, yeah, we'll find look at this one. Eventually. This one. Hey, 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 Press it? Or do something with it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sorry, Snoopy. It's covered in your eyeballs. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I can sit there and do this all day. Do that all day. I don't want to bore everyone. Next up, a couple of beanie boos in really good condition. Yeah, they look brand new. Yeah. I don't want to sniff them no, and smell no them. No kid slobber on them, no boogers this on them. This one's name is Rainbow, which makes sense. It's very rainbow y. And this one is Precious. My Precious. We're going to lock these together, if, unless we have more than this, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense to me, too. Here's a random Disneyland magnet, because who doesn't like Disneyland magnets? Found that in the bins. Victoria, these are all the things we found in the bins this afternoon. We hit we hit a nice little honey hole. Heather did. I just got a basket, a bin full of baskets. But these are pretty cool baskets, and after we go through the toys, if you make it through the toys, and you want, or you want to watch the replay, at the end, I'm going to show... These uh, goose, swan, elephant, various weird animals that are like baskets. I think my, they might be worth some money. We'll, we'll see. Here's another interactive toy for Cameron to share. The polar bear from the Coke going around. Is this like a McDonald's toy? I don't know. Uh, Burger King. Burger King, 1999, 95. A 99 Burger King toy. It's probably worth like $3. <laughs> Breaking the bank right there. How far away are our bins, babe, would you say? Like 20 uh, minutes? At the most, maybe 15. Yeah. There's an awesome Hello Kitty. Not very far from us at all. I think Tariana's going to want to keep that one. That would be our kid that she's talking about. And by kid, we mean almost 17-year-old. She, like, she, she likes, likes Hello Kitty. Likes Hello Kitty. Here's a Mickey that needs a bath. So where's the pile of... of Plushies, we need to shower. Right Take a shower. So here is one of many that we're not sure about. Oh, the Neopets? Yeah, there's a whole lot of those. So if anybody knows anything about Neopets, let us know. But it looks like they came out in 2005. Here's, here's a tag. And there was a ton of these. This one doesn't have a tag to it other than the tag tag. But many of them came new like this with a tag dangling from it. Oh, there's like human hair in that. Unless it's a doll hair, I'm not touching that. Gross. Well, we were just digging in bins of stuff. But here's my I know. Neopets. I don't have there's gloves a, on right now. a whole bunch of Neopets. Well, we're definitely going to have to wash your hands over this. But Yeah, so I'm probably going to take a picture of like... A lot of these together, and what by a lot I mean many, like many, a whole bunch of these. yeah, like seriously twenty plus of them, Neopet. and sell them together as a lot. Oh, my buddy Louie, Neopet. honey, this guy lives in Texas, and he's um, he's a cool guy. I named one on my shelf. I just keep pulling out Neopets. Yeah, so I don't know if these Neopets have any value or not. Are they all for? Well, this one's from two thousand four. The other McDonald's. one was two thousand five. But they're all McDonald's toys. I, I swear somebody collected them, and then their parent was like, you're grown. You're in college. I'm just going to go, like, dump off all your stuff to the local bins. Please, that's a story I told myself in my head. Can you just dump them out? That bag's kind of noisy. Oh, okay. Well, here, here's an interactive toy. Pull the tail. And they're like, watch me play with the toys. That sounded weird. 
Shake that booty. Shake that booty. Oh, you're right. This is fun. Hey, hey. Man, he's really wiggling. I don't Whoa. know. Pull me, tag. Pull a bunch of neo pets. Pull tail the pets. When did these come out? I've never seen one. Me neither. Pull my tail pets. Neo pet. Neo pet. Neo pet. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, that almost looked like a. Um, are you? Pikachu? Yeah, that's not Pikachu though. Uh, Neo pet. Neo pet. Neo pet. Oh, Neo pet. So yeah, I'm just gonna be taking a photo of like all of these. Neo pets. This isn't from a shop, uh, Sal. This is from. Um, <laughs> you know, it's funny that you say that, Louie. Uh, I don't call Heather Mrs. Gravity Goods because <laughs> she's Heather. She's not like the other part of me or like. I'm the main guy. And she's like the side thing or whatever. So no disrespect to people. That means. Well, all these guys like they're they they're they're whatever their brand is, and then they call their wife the misses of that. Oh, and I just that's not you know that's not my thing. But um, anyway, so no, it's not Mrs. Gravity Goods. But that's it's, not offensive by any means. <laughs> well, it could be to you because you're like I'm Heather, like. I'm not the missus of Gravity Goods. I don't know. It's, I just It's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's it is fine that other people do that. I've just never done that with no, you or called not. called you that or whatever. We didn't we haven't got there yet, I guess. I mean if you want to be Mrs. Gravity Goods, I'm as long I don't, as I get half of the you know I don't call myself Mr. Gravity Goods, I just say Kim. The cute Kim little T-Rex. What is he from? I don't know. Short and squatty little bugger. 2020, this is brand new. This is probably worth a quarter, honey. Yes! Here's that. Okay, well, let's show us some just, cool you stuff. Know, Pull out some cool stuff. Of, this is something that's really nice. Toy Story 2. Uh, 1999 McDonald's. But I bet it wasn't just a regular McDonald's toy. Obviously, it's bigger than a Happy Meal box. So it must have been some specialty thing. So, <laughs> so Louie suggests, how about Mrs. Heather Goods? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is new in the package uh, from 1999, the year I graduated high school. Pretty cool. Nice. Pretty cool. And here's a little buzz to go along with it. Yeah. Does it light up or blast off? Nice. This this buzz is from, this is no year on this book. There's no year on this buzz. Have another. This is no year. There is no year. It buzz light year. What does buzz light year say? I'm Buzz. No. To infinity and to beyond. To infinity and beyond. How I'm Buzz. <laughs> How did you make... Oh, there's a red button. These are very complex toys, people. Oh, Don't right. do this at home. Here's the world's tiniest sky. 2015 sky from Paw Patrol. In case anybody wants some chocolate cards. It's random. So... That's garbage. Here is... Oh, Louis, since you're on here, and Victoria and other people who have joined late, Sal, do any of you know anything about uh, Pokemon cards and whether or not a 2016 uh, Pikachu is worth anything? It might be worth like 10 cents for all I know. But there was just a few at the bottom of one of the bins, and I just grabbed them in case one of them happened to be like somehow rare or valuable. You know what, Gloria? I don't love taking pictures of clothes either. Um, I don't love washing them and going through them and sometimes being bamboozled because I'll realize there's a hole in the armpit or something where I try to get out a stain or a mark and it doesn't come out. And then laying it flat and taking a picture and taking a picture and putting out the measuring stick and taking a picture and turning it over and lint rolling it and taking a picture and putting it in the bag. Sometimes it's nice to just take a toy and just click, 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 and then find cell similar to knocking over all the Neopets. So I'm with you. Sometimes I don't love the clothing as much. Sometimes it's nice to just get hard goods. Anybody about the uh, about the Pikachu? Nope. Have no idea. Well, thank you anyway. All right. I don't know what this is, but it's got some Japanese or other writing. So Siga, that's something I gotta look Siga, up. Siga, Siga, it could be a. Uh, like an anime, it could be something or another. Could be we gotta like look that Dragon up. Ball Z ish or something. Well, what's interesting? This is a. Uh... Is it gonna spy on you? Let's see. I know what you're doing right now. I know what you're doing. We got it at the bins, uh, Louis. 
holy cards of Pokemon can be worth a lot. Check them out. I will, but I was just wondering if you knew. If you knew. If you happen to know. So here's an interesting uh, 2007 McDonald's collection that I never even knew existed. So I think we got a man. Are you sure this is from McDonald's? Yeah. Exclusively from McDonald's. We'll have to, we have a couple more. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Tin Man had no heart. Brain. Cowardly Lion didn't have a heart. Is that correct? The Tin Man was missing a brain. No, that's not right. He didn't have a heart. Yeah. Because there's that little heart yeah. thing. Yeah. So it was the lion that didn't have about a brain. It. No, the Scarecrow, I can't remember. Do y'all remember? Tell me in the chat. This is just a brand new McDonald's toy that well, there's, was grabbed because it was at the bin. But and, there's a whole bunch of the teeny beanie babies. So same as the up. Neopets. Just make a big lot. There's going to be a big old pile, and I'm going to be pulling out. Give me some of those dispensers. and so here's, here's another, another buzz. buzz. Is this the exact a, same kind? No, yeah. A little bit different. Well, these are all, okay. Somebody was yeah, definitely a McDonald's too. toy collector, though, because toy these story. are all like Toy Story buzzes from... McDonald's. But there's the that's the who remembers the name of um I know. Lightyear's enemy. Oh. Not Bullseye. The other the other guy that the camera's holding up. I have one of these for sale that's not a cheap Z toy. It's like a toy toy. Um yeah, do y'all know who this is? Anybody? And here's some more Toy Story. Nobody's guessing. Everybody should recognize them. These are from 1999. And everybody should recognize Why do they do this? Because they walk. They probably walk. Oh. Like, mm, 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 mm. Well, how do you get them going? <laughs> Here, that's a Toy Story also. So uh oh, this could... looks like it might be missing something. Do you feel like something went through his spine? I don't know. I don't know either. What's well, the dinosaur's the, name? What's the um, dinosaur from Toy Story's name? The scarecrow from the the Tin Man Scarecrow grouping. The dinosaur from Toy Story is T is T Rex. Rex. Rex, yeah. Rex. He's from the Toy Story. He's the villain. We know that, Louis, but do you this? know his name? Do you know the name? Should I just tell him? Zy Zygorg, Zyborg, by Zyborg, something like that. Zygon. I'm just making it up. I don't know. It's just a barrel monkey. I think that's from Toy Story as well. Yeah, it is. 1999. Somebody like cleaned up and went to Mickey D's every day in 1999. Well, I, I did because I was going to school or I was uh, working at McDonald's. There's Woody. As a teen, teeny bop. Oh, and here's, here's Woody. Here's a barrel monkey. Here's the Barbie from it. So we have kind of a big lot of. Yeah, we can put all Toy these story. together. It's like a big old Toy Story. See how sad were the toys from Toy Story to be sitting in the bottom of those bins. We gave them another Rescue chance. Them. Yeah, just call us Andy. So here's something y'all might find humorous. Uh, I'm a Bobby girl. Furry Zerg. dispenser. Chris, who's a um, Cajun reseller, he says it's Zerg. Zerg, that's it. I was close. Hey, Chris. We're going through some toys we found in the bins today. Right. Anybody wants a Buzz Lightyear or they just keep coming out of the bag? I know. I, that's the third one. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, what are these? Have you, like, has anybody ever seen furry Pez? These are Pez dispensers, but they're fuzzy. We're just going to call them They're furry. from Dakin Dakin. Anyway, here they are. They're just like a regular dispenser, only it's almost like it has some casing, case, some Pez like clothing over it. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but I've never seen I've never seen Pez like this. We have like there's probably half a dozen of those too. Here's the army guy from the Toy Story. <laughs> oh yeah, and his parachute and his parachute. It's hard to see through the bags, babe, but yeah. Well, so just, we'll here's just, your big find that you wanted to share. Um, I don't know. Yeah, was this the main one? I thought that was a cool <laughs> one. The purple or pink hair. Wait, and there wait, was a, there's, there's more. Dang, I, I have a bride in there, hon, right underneath that Cookie Monster. 
Yes. <laughs> this is like Lady Gaga patrols. What year are all these trolls? Who knows? But I'm stoked. God, I don't know. If, when I was a little, I collected trolls. So now that I'm grown up, what if I started collecting them again? Would you be concerned about my well-being, my mental no. state? No, no, to each their own. No judging. Check out all the trolls, people. The trolls. Oh yeah. Just keep pulling out Neopets and Beanie Babies. <laughs> nice. Little beans. Nice, Cajun. Don't judge, man. All right, cool. I found this truck as they're fixing to leave, and I've sold one like this. It, her name was Stella, I want to say. She has. She's the one with the cow uh, girl hat that's purple. And I sold that little truck for like, I want to say 40 bucks. I have no idea if this one this says abysmal. Abysmal. I get it. It's like an octopus or something with tentacles. Yeah, it's an octopus. Check that out. That's pretty sweet. Uh, this could be worth this could be worth a little bit. We'll see. Maybe 15 bucks. Yeah, Monster Jam's great for sure, Chris. I've never seen this one before and I haven't looked it up yet because we just got home. Here's your beautiful treasure. Uh, what's this guy's name? Wimpy. Wimpy, 1985. Found this sucker in the bins. I'm trying to show them the tag here. Oh, Wimpy, you look like you need a beer in your hand, buddy. You've had a rough day. You need hamburger. to relax. Oh, he needs a hamburger? He needs hamburgers. Oh, okay. But I mean, he, he can drink beer, too. He can drink beer with his burgers. Yeah, Jeez. So good. But yeah, look, his feet are all intact. They look pretty nice. They look, he looks pretty good. I mean, his pants look like, oh, he got into a little something, something there, but maybe a tide pin would help clean that up. I have no idea the value of this, but could be maybe worth a little bit of money. Hey, Chris, that's a great idea. If y'all would like to help me, I'm trying to get, I have 290 something subscribers. So close to 300. And if y'all hit the thumbs but up button, that might help. Maybe it'll show more people that, hey, we're live. Is it Wimpy from Popeye, honey? Yeah. Yeah. She knows more about it than me, so. She's smarter than me. Let's see. Oh. I got a Cookie Monster. And I think I got this guy because he was vintage-y. <laughs> vintage to me, just means near 20 years old. Yep. Nope. I can't do math, apparently. This is only eight. Almost nine years old. This is from 2012. But when I look at uh, toys like this, I look at the eyes, the black part of the eyes on the plastic. And if they don't have a ton of scratches, then I buy them. Because uh, if there's mine and three other ones on eBay, then they're going to buy the one that the eyeballs are in better condition. So how much for Wimpy? Well, Chris, I haven't done any research, my buddy. It's funny that you ask because I actually had something in my cart at the bins this evening. And this lady came up to us, and she was like, <laughs> um, excuse me, I know this is strange because you haven't even paid for it yet, but can I buy that case from you? And it is a vintage case. I don't really know how to describe it. It cl clips shut, and inside of it was a bunch of, like, doilies, like hankies, handkerchiefs, old lady stuff. No offense <laughs> to old ladies, but um, – it was in the same bin that I got a bunch of like these type of baskets, these wicker goose and elephant and interesting shaped baskets that I'm hoping are going to be worth some money. But, um, but it stinks. I need to Febreze that. Uh, anyway, I said, well, how much were you thinking? And she like dug in her wallet. She's like, I have $11. And I was <laughs> so close to selling it to her. But I thought to myself, I'm going to be pissed if I end up, uh, I'm not calling you old, Victoria. You're a young lady. Um, I mean, like, like our moms or grandmas. Yeah, or I'm talking like eighty. Um, hey, Tina, what's up? And so I said, you know, I appreciate the offer, but I think I'm going to take my chances and see how much it'll go for on eBay because I just have no clue the value of it. She goes, that's fair. I said, I'll tell you what. Let me give you my business card, and if you come follow me on Gravity Goods on Instagram, my eBay store is connected to it. So if you really want it, you could come and bid on it. Because since I don't know the value, I'm probably gonna like put it up for an auction, but we'll see. You know, I think it was Cat the Nurse Flipper Chris who recently showed like a heart shaped basket uh, that she had sold for like 
seventy dollars, some ridiculous amount. I don't oh know. Oh my goodness! And so my wife, I told her, I said, "You're gonna tease me for buying these baskets, but they could be worth some good money. So I'm gonna buy them, and we'll we'll, we'll uh, roll the dice on them." Quack quack. That's a swan. Okay. Well, how do you know? What's or it? or a goose. The one that I got well, that has the wings. That long. The that's one with the one. wings. I'll go get it here in a minute, y'all. The one with the big old wings that looked like a swan. But that could be a duck. I don't know. Put it away. Let's go do toys. <laughs> yeah, that's a big buzz. There is a big buzz. But I wanted, that's the modern day troll. And he just wanted to show that he dances like you. But look at his hair. Look at inside of his is hair. Is this how I dance? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Show him your moves, Cameron. You guys want me to dance? This dance right here? What's in his hair? Just a miniature version of himself. A little mini. Thanks. Troll. We were wearing different shirts, and my wife was like, we need to wear cool, fun shirts. So she put on her Kuna Vitata, and I got my SpongeBob shirt on. Oh, mine doesn't have spongies, but just has my back. Mine's the front and back. Mine's the bonus. All right. What else we got? Um, so here's some peasants that are still in the containers that are really uh, awesome. There you go. Let me show these a close-up. Sure. What's so awesome about them? Hello, Hello. kitty. Um... What's this guy's name? That's uh, Charlie Brown, isn't it? No, I think it's his buddy. Is it Linus? No, I can't see it. No, that is Charlie Brown. Because somebody somebody will tell Charlie. us in the chat. That's clearly Hello Kitty. And, honey, I think we need to bring her bed closer because she feels like she needs to be close to us. Will you get the one out of the office? In fact, she likes that one better. Our dog is over here clip clop clip clopping. She just needs to settle down. Come on, old lady, lay down. There you go. Good girl. Anyway, and then we've got Elmo. Nobody told me the name of this. It must be. It must be uh, Charlie Brown. Yeah, it's Charlie Brown. Okay. Charlie Brown's worth a hat. Show so, us the pets. There Show are us the pets. about. I don't even know how many pets, but. There are pezzes of all kinds. All colors. All different shows. You've got Tweety, Fozzie, Minnie, Lisa from The Simpsons. No, that's Maggie because she has the Maggie from pink, The Simpsons. The Kaz, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Wait, I'm showing you. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. That one's just the good old jack in the box. <laughs> I think I already have two of these Fonzies. Tweety, not just your average Tweety though. This is like rock star Tweety. In fact, yeah, is Tweety a Tweety bird a boy or a girl or a genderless genderless bird? Well, Let's nobody ever asked, but here, There's this two. is from '98. It's definitely older ish. There's two more Tweeties. Oh, those are like classic Tweeties. Let's see if those have a year. It's hard to see. Does that say '80 something? 1980, I think. Dang! This is a this is a 40 year old Pez toys. Bye, Gloria. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. Here's the Peanuts gang. We got many. Look. Okay, hold on. Let me come grab them. I'm gonna start collecting Pezes and trolls. Oh shit, we're gonna be in trouble. Now. Peanuts gang, right there. Oh, that's Bart Simpson. That's the Simpsons. Da, na, na, na. What's the Peanuts? Um, I know, right? We scored big. Uh, that's what Victoria said. That's why we wanted to make a video. I was like, honey, when we get home, uh, we're going to make a video like going through all this stuff. Here's even Peppermint Patty with that Peanuts crew. Um, yeah. I think we're going to have to sell all these together because, you know, they're homies. And they're... Holy shit, Heather. Excuse my language. This is obviously not monetized. 1966. It's Lucy. Woo-wee! I didn't know Pez was that old. Yeah, Pez has been around forever. If I could Clearly. see. Clearly. Wait, 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 wait. 1352, 1966. Where do you what? see these dates? Tiny, microscopic, like on the back of her head. Look it up. Oh. Can you read that? 1966. I'm pretty sure that's what that says. All right, Lucy Lou, you stay, you stay uh, over there. There's oh, apparently we're missing Schroeder for the whole Peanuts gang. 
Yeah, but we have Yosemite Sam, Garfield. I mean, Somebody said definitely lock those all together and put the price yes, high. Yes, Winnie yeah. the Pooh. We've got all kinds. Like it's. That was boring. We have pet. Yeah. Well, they, we, there's seasonal. Arriba, arriba, epa, epa, andale, andale. Y'all know who that is. One and only. Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, Fonz. Fonz? Wait, is that this guy's name? Fonz? Just Gonzo. Gonzo. Fonzo. Fonzo, Gonzo. Oh, great question. And I know that there is a difference, Chris. Some do and some don't. Like all these I'm showing right now, they all have feet. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of them have feet and some don't. Like, let's go find that old Lucy or whichever one that was. Oh, I see. Oh, she had feet. Is the feet ones the more rare? Um, I think if they don't have feet, they're more rare. But we'll let Chris That's tell us. That's all right. The older ones don't have a base or foot at the bottom. Ah. Uh. Um, Risa Hobo says, I have 12-inch Yoda that plays Star Wars Pez that I got the Goodwill for $3 a few years back. Heather would love that. She loves Star Wars. Yeah, I got a collection of Star Wars Pez, too. I don't know what this dinosaur's I from. I think I have Yoda. I think you found me, Yoda. What's that from? I don't know. I don't know either. Garfield, classic. See, that says 1978, but it has feet. So when you say they don't have any feet, that must be like way, way old, huh? Found a oh. retro. This is a rad one because of the cool colors of its clothes. I was gonna see if there's a tag on its butt or back. Nope, it's up on the neck. Nope, on the arm. Um, there's no year. This just says it's a Rust Troll. The Rust brand. What Here's something I've never seen before. Yeah, we found a, a handful of these uh, miniature, like teeny weeny, I don't know, maybe two and a half inch uh, Pez. This looks like Lucky Charms. This is from 2001. This is the Lucky Charms guy, babe. How much did we pay? Well, we got a bunch of clothing items, and this is a like what a, a fourth of what we got. We got clothes and other like costumes and tons of you got a ton but of. But the whole in there. thing, including that other stuff that we're not showing you, was like seventy bucks. They do it by the pound, and it's um, if you go over twenty five pounds, it's a dollar twenty nine a pound. Yes. Yeah. So, so you can get pennies on, uh, you know, um, on the yeah, exactly uh, what Victoria said. Fractions of dollars for each individual item after you, you know, divide it all up. Yeah, that's what I was wondering too. Tina thought that maybe these came like in cereal boxes, honey, or like in a Happy Meal. Yeah. Good, Louie. That's awesome. Yeah, those rare vintage type of clothes can sell. Hey, buddy, if you don't know this about me or anybody who's watching, I like this t shirt is from 90. Nope, this is 20. Well, this is a little bit different, 2009. But I collect and love vintage t shirts. So whether it's Disney or uh, I don't know, Ninja Turtles, SpongeBob, just fun vintage shirts. Let me know if you list them on eBay because I'd like to buy them for my internet friends than just some random stranger. So, all right, buddy. Have a great night. Enjoy your coaching, your kids. It's awesome that you do that. You and I still have to go thrifting together. Sal only lives about 20 minutes from me, y'all. So we're going to have to hang out one time and go thrifting. Holy crap. We took it out of those bags, babe. It's like covering the whole table. Yes, there's... Fred Flintstone, there's Bar this is Barney. And well yeah. Pebbles. I mean I meant the Flintstones. Sylvester. Yeah, what's Let's in there? Beanie babies. Beanie boos, but there's there's a handful of different kinds of toys. Oh, there's Fred. Huh. Like a lot of these are McDonald's toys, but here's your random um, dinosaur. 
I think I got this because I looked and it said 1992. I think it's from the land before time. Yeah. This dinosaur. So, I mean, it's probably not super valuable. Well, but and here's Bambi and Stumper. There could be a collector for... Did I say football? <laughs> Chris wants to know, honey, where are we going to store all this? Here's Bambi and Thumper. Where are we going to store? Where am I going to store all I, this? It's, yeah, who knows? Who knows what we're going to do with all this stuff? I thought without a heartbeat, you'd be like, in your shed. Well, in your shed, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Some of these are going to be stored on our... Oh, there's a C-3PO. I've got to make sure I have them in my collection. Here's Let's a couple of... Keep all the inventory, y'all. Cool Star Wars hey, Carol. Toys. My wife and I are going through a bunch of toys that we uh, just got at the... No, Victoria. In fact, my wife is very adamant that, like, this, as soon as we're done putting this all away, like, this tablecloth is going in the washer immediately. Uh, yeah. And so will us. Not the washing machine, but the shower. Because we don't like to be Josie Grossy and have all the cooties. Here's your um, one little toy you want to share. Found today an early 90s full coverage shirt. Purple and green 90s. Super dope. It has little issues, but I'm going to clean it up. Man, Louie, when you list that, I want to go check it out. It sounds like a fun one if it fits me. I might be interested. Um, for those of you who follow Troy, Mountain Man Treasures, uh, you know what this reminds me of? For those of you who follow Lonnie and Candace, this when Heather pulled this out of the bins today, it reminded me of that Spider-Man that Candace had and that she was playing with. Isn't this amazing? Is this old? It's a Burger King toy from 1998? 98, yeah. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, if you follow, oh, Troy, he found a dole, like J-E-L-L-O-O, -O. I guess it's just Jello, not dole. <laughs> I was thinking of like the dole, like fruit things, fruit cups, but it's just a Jello shirt, but it has like fruit on it. It was the fruitiest t-shirt I've ever seen in my life, and I loved it, and was like, dude, I, if that fits me, I want it. Um. Justin, we went to the ones off Portland Road in Salem, Oregon. Um, and I reached out to him like, Troy, I'm re really interested in that T-shirt, that vintage T-shirt that you found. And uh, it turns out that um, it had a few issues. And I'm picky with my vintage tees. Like, I don't want them to have holes or look distressed or torn or stained. So I had to pass on that. But it was a really cool shirt. Carol says, I love the bins with three Zs. That is Apu from Aladdin. Apu or Abu? Apu. Apu, like as in a, a, a poo? Yes. Oh, I thought it was Abu. Abu sounds better than Apu. He's raising the roof as slowly as one can. All right, what you got, honey? We're boring everyone. I'm boring myself. Well, you want to show your vintage teacher? I think we're... There's a lot of little toys there all over the place. Yeah, will you grab my swan? I gotta show people the beautiful, ugly basket of the swan. But you never know. You never know. This this thing could be worth sixty dollars. All right. So this T-shirt Heather found, single stitch on the old uh, Hanes tag, made in the USA. Whoops. There we go. It's an extra large, so unfortunately it's gonna be too big for me, so I'll end up listing it and selling it or keeping it in just my personal vintage t-shirt collection. What do you think? Is that pretty awesome or what? <laughs> oh, hooked on phonics. Beaverton, Oregon. Although you know what, babe, I'm I'm now that I look at this, we're going to have to look at T-Line Design and Beaverton, Oregon, because they could be a remake. A remake. Exactly. Is. And sometimes they make new shirts to look like old shirts, even if they're not old. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. Cool. Regardless, um, I, got a, I got a sick T, and I got a comment that that is funny. Um. Ooh, we're going to get rich. That My little Mr. Potato has worth five bucks, honey, on uh, eBay. Right. We'll be just chipping away at the $70 all this cost. So um, this is M Milfred the Mallard Duck. I don't know. I'm just – it's a basket. Yeah, it's a basket. Sorry, these are baskets that I'm showing you now. 
And I'm sorry you're going to hear clip clop in the background. My dog, she's having a heyday back there. She, you know what? She's 14 and a half, y'all. She's not going to live that much longer. Just let her do her thing. As long as, as long as she's happy. So this is another basket. This is Milfred. Oh, wait. That was the other one's name. This one's Mowgli. The only bins I've been to is the world's smallest in Grants Pass. My bed my bedroom is bigger than that place. Um, somebody said, I remember those. Marie said, yeah, those hooked on phonics. I remember the hooked on phonics kits. That's how I learned to read. Um, well, that and Sesame Street, I'm pretty sure. Some old lady's going to love that basket. I know. Wait till you see. Wait. Well, wait. Well, wait there's Victoria, more. there's more. There's some, a lot more. Some old lady's going to want. These two baskets and this basket, maybe. And we left the elephant. The elephant's not in the room. The elephant's outside the room. But check this out. Oh, this is like this is like a goose in flight with its with its uh amazing wings. <laughs> I'm all I'm trying to talk it up. I don't know. There's something going on with this handle back here. I'll have to tinker with, but this is a basket as well. Hello, Carol. It's nice to, or not Carol, Carol's mom. It's nice to see you again, although I can't see you. But look at this. Oh, look, we had toys in it. Now, this is the big old swan basket. I had to get it. I had. I just had, I knew. I think it's gonna be worth some money. I could be completely wrong, and I bamboozled myself. But Tina, Tina said, uh, um, Tina said, uh, what did Tina say? Where'd she go? In flight. That basket's pretty crazy. Yeah, I know. But. Carol said she must be an old lady. She likes the basket. <laughs> that's all good. All right, y'all. Well, I think that's it. Um, our our table is now full of toys. Um, honey, we didn't show them the Power Ranger. Oh, well, there's so many little other toys over there. They're holding out. Amazing. Red Ranger. Bugs Bunny. So, yeah. I got some listing to do. I've only listed one thing today. I needed to at least list five. I need 15 more to hit my 80 for the week. I've been a listing machine all week. But clearly, I I can, like, I mean, I could just take a few things like this truck and a couple of others, um, like this whopping $5 Mr. Potato Head toy. But you can't take these because I'm keeping them. Star Wars. Yep. I could go photograph this basket. Put it up for sale. You're gonna have to look and see if everything's yeah, in that one. Just gonna have to grab a few a few uh, items real quick to go photograph and get them listed so that I don't even have to think about it for the rest of the day. Or I might just not think about it and just catch play catch up tomorrow. That's probably what I'm gonna do. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed watching and hanging out with us. Um, these ladies are arguing over which one is older, but that's okay. <laughs> you're you're all young at heart, right? That's all that matters. Yes. Yeah, so Tina, at our bins, there is a donation center. And so it's interesting because some of the items, like the clothing specifically is what comes to mind to me. Um, I'll pull a, a pair of jeans, let's say, a pair of Levi's, and it'll have the Goodwill tag of like $15.99. So that means it was in a Goodwill store at one point, didn't get sold, brought to the bins, put into the bins. But there is a donation center right at the bins where people drop things off. So you may be exactly right that like somebody just came, donated some collections of Pez and Neopets and baskets that are made like animals and trolls. And we just lucked out because uh, I saw the employees coming and I said, honey, get over here. So she had her cart and I had mine and we went and we claimed our spot. And so when the fresh bins came, we had first dibs and my basket heather and i like laughed when it came rolling in because here was the goose on the bin <laughs> and a bunch of other like older women looking things um and i said you laugh now but those baskets might be worth some money and believe it or not i'm gonna grab them 
And of course, hers was just like full of all these cool toys. So you got the good. Well, it was pretty nostalgic draw. digging through that bin. <laughs> yeah. So, Carol, my only advice is if exterior noise bothers you, because normally it does me, and so I have noise-canceling headphones when I go to the bins by myself, it's just, just overwhelming the stimulation of the people and the sounds and everything. That might not be something that even bothers you, but I'm just throwing it out there. Um, and then uh, gloves. Wear gloves. And a mask, because everyone has to wear masks anyway, but I'm telling you, in the future... I'm going to wear a mask. I'm wearing a mask anyway, because I am not being sarcastic when I say it feels like you're just digging through trash. There are sometimes clothes that I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's human feces on that. Ugh. Oh, it's and not never, that bad. You've never seen a nasty old towel in a bin or uh, something? Yeah, there's there. a lot of garbage, but here's yeah. here's a, also a beautiful Mustang. To okay, we forgot to show series. this. We're, yeah, we're gonna end our video by showing you this um, Mustang car. <laughs> hey, those birds are getting busy. Get them. Get. Not that's not the right channel for this, huh? Oh my god! All right, y'all. Have a great night. Yes, masks and gloves for sure. Thank you so much, Chris and Victoria and Carol, Tina for joining. It was fun. Heather says Bye, goodbye. Mom. And there's lurkers, babe, because there's 11 people watching, but only like four in the chat. So to the lurkers. Hope you enjoyed us going through our, our toy stash and have a great weekend, everybody. Is there bro or there's broken glass? Um, I've never found broken glass, but there could Picture be. Picture frames. Yeah, so that could happen. But you just have to be careful. Yeah, hence the hence the glass. Yeah, smash a th thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it, y'all. Good night. Hopefully somebody else is live so that we can hang out there too. All right, bye. Let's see, how do I end this? I feel like such an old man. Finish. There uh -huh. it is.